What is up everybody? Today is the start of something new. So I've mentioned before how I'm living in Pennsylvania right now, and I'll start with just a brief backstory of why we're actually here. So my girlfriend Delaney got the opportunity to attend one of the best special effects makeup schools in the country here in Pennsylvania, and I moved up here just to sort of support her in the adventure. And the whole time preparing to move up here from Florida, I was really worried about skateboarding and how that would play in. I didn't know what sort of work environment I was going to have and, I, and what sort of free time I was going to have, so skating was definitely something I thought about. And that leads me to the video today. I'm actually wanting to start a series of videos, vlog-like videos, uh, sort of documenting my time trying to film a skate park. Because while we're up here, I've noticed so many different spots that I wasn't used to back home, and you know with the Skate Adventures series, I found a lot of really cool spots to skate, and that's gotten me thinking about certain tricks that I want to do before I move back to Florida. And some of them are definitely going to take training, some of them I'm not prepared for yet, but a lot of them I do think that if I give it my all that I could definitely land them. So I want these vlogs to be each step that I'm taking in the direction of landing these tricks that I have planned. And today is going to be my first attempt at this. I'm actually planning to skate a nine stair that I've actually only ever ollied but I look at it every single day and I definitely think that I could get a front side flip down it. So this is just going to be my preparation, my uh, the attempts, and whether or not I land it by the end of it. This may be a video spanning over multiple days of me trying this. And with a lot of these tricks are going to come some serious training, and that means getting my body right, getting my mind right, and I'm going to explain to you guys just the sort of things that I'm trying to do to make that happen. So today I'm going to start with a real good warm-up like I usually do, jump rope and uh, all of that. I have some snacks packed just in case I need to pick me up in the middle of the battle. Not getting a good warm-up before you skate is a really good way to injure yourself or you know just pull a muscle or anything like that so I that's the best way that I've found to actually loosen yourself up and get the blood going and prepare yourself for a day of skating. Front side flips the trick I'm trying today so I think I'm gonna mainly practice kick flips, front 180s, front side flips on flat and get all those dialed down make sure I they're feeling right but other than that I'm just trying to have fun and warm up before I try this trick. It's starting to look like rain, so I gotta make this quick. All right, that's all I'm gonna have time for. These black clouds are rolling in. All right, now I wanna practice these tricks off drops a little bit. So I'm here in a spot I call the warm-up wall because it's a nice little drop that I like to uh, practice some tricks off of, get the feeling of dropping down gaps. Front side flip time. I want to try to land three, but depending on how it feels, I might just try to do one really good one, make sure it feels solid.
All right, now for the real battle. On my walk here, I just wanted to say something real quick. Uh, something that always sticks in my head is uh, a guy named Dave Pachinski, professional skateboarder. He is really good at skating drops, and he always says that that when you're skating off a drop, it's exactly like flat ground. Just do the trick exactly like you do it on flat ground. But I don't fully agree with this because one factor that some people might not consider is speed. Because if you can't do the trick on flat ground going as fast as you have to go to make it over the gap, it's going to be a lot harder regardless of whether you think of it as a flat ground trick or not. And that's the trouble I have sometimes is I'll practice tricks over and over and over on flat ground and then when it goes to take it over a decent gap, I can never flip it right and it's because you're going so much faster than you're used to in order to get over the gap that the pop and the flick, it's all different. And while I was practicing off of that drop, I was starting to get a little discouraged because the front side flip wasn't really working at all. And I was thinking, if it can't work off of this little thing, then it's not gonna work down a nine stair. And I actually have a funny story. Uh, back in Florida, there's this nine stair that we used to always skate. And uh, I'd never really done any tricks over it. And front side flip was the one trick that I really wanted to get before I moved. And there's actually been two different sessions that I've tried the front side flip and every time I, I go fast enough, but the speed is right, the pop is right, uh, I flip it pretty well every time, but I just kick it away. I never commit. And that's one thing that I want to change with this battle is I know I can do it if I just commit and I just got to let myself land on the board and see what happens. You get so much more beat up whenever you're not committing. I'll actually, uh, if I still have the clips, I'll put them in right now so you guys can see some of the battle from that day. All right, here we are, this is the nine stair. I'm gonna give it my all today because it's almost identical to the one back home. It just seems a little bit longer. So landing a front side flip over this would mean a lot to me. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna give it an ollie, maybe a kick flip, and then we're gonna go straight into the front side flip. I don't have very much longer before I have to head out. I severely underestimated that stair set. I don't know if it's because I've gotten worse at skating or something, but that is way harder than the one back home. That, it's a nine stair, but it feels more like an 11 stair or something. I don't know, I've noticed that with a lot of stairs here. I don't know if it's because they make the university, the stair sets are like, a, the, each stair is a little taller and longer or something, but all the stairs I skate, it feels like I've just gotten worse at skating because the impact is more than I think it should be, the length is more than I think it should be, but the hardest part about this one today is I never noticed the run up is actually downhill. So getting enough speed to clear it's not an issue, but right when you pop, it almost like shoots you off like a slingshot. So even the ollie I was trying was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. Originally I wanted to front 180, I wanted to kick flip, and then I wanted to battle the front side flip, but I knew right when I started trying that ollie that it wasn't gonna happen. I, I tried a couple kick flips, but I don't know. I think what I need to do is I need to skate this stair set more to get used to it, get used to that downhill run up, and practice kick flips and front side flips going as fast as I can because this thing shoots me. So I hate to say it, but the battle today has been lost before it even started.